Ahoy there, it's Captain Katie here. Welcome back to the Savvy Squid. And today we're gonna be doing some more plates of paper workbook. So today we're going to be working on these two items in the workbook. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the page. You can barely see the outlines, but I promise that's it. And that's what we're gonna be working on today. So let's dive in. So as with all of the other um, illustrations that we've done so far, we're just gonna be laying down the flats. And this piece has a lot of greens, like both of these, and a lot of browns because, again, they're a lot of, like, breads and pastries. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some burnt sienna. And I learned from my mistake last time, I'm also going to mix in some vermilion. And I'm going to leave that mix to the side because I'm also going to mix up a lighter color. And these are what we're going to use for our basic, like, layers. So it's just a mix of burnt sienna and yellow ochre and a lot, a lot of water. And I'm gonna make sure I have a decent amount of it because I don't wanna run out. This little like hoagie roll thing, uh, what is it? It's a croquette bun, croquet bun? I think it's croquette. Anyway, um, it's got a lot of brown. <laughs> I'm just making sure I have a ton of water in here and I'm going to just swatch it it's a little, I need to warm it up just a tad. And that's better, okay. So I'm just gonna go in with this and I'm just going to just plop it in. I'm not caring if I'm messy because I'm always messy. So there's no point in beating myself up over it. I never learned to color inside the lines apparently. So we've got that just kind of flatted out and then we're gonna get the other side. And I am gonna be a little bit more careful with this other side because there's some like leafies, little lettuces, or I think it's supposed to be lettuce. Um, and I want to preserve that if I can. Speaking of preserving, I need to look at the reference and make sure I don't need to grab my masking fluid I think I might go ahead and grab it because I think this like part of the croquette bun is um yeah there's some whites and last time I didn't do the white masking I did regret it so just gonna go ahead and get some masking fluid in here in just a sec after I lay this flat down so I'm just gonna take this little ah no that was huge oh no that's fine and I'm just going to kind of dab some little highlights in here. And if I don't like them, I can always go back over them later, so I'm not too worried. Got a little bubble of masking fluid. Just trying to make like little dots and abstract shapes really to give an illusion of something organic. Um, and then this little turtle also looks like they've used some masking fluid, so we're just gonna use a little bit on some of the little sections here. Not not every section, I think I'm only gonna do a few. We'll just leave it like that. And then I will have to let that dry, but on parts that don't have the masking fluid, I don't need to let it dry. Um, namely, these little feet and the head of the turtle. The little turtle melon bread is what it's called. It's so cute. If this is a food that exists, I need to find it and I need to partake of the cute turtle bread. Time to go scroll TikTok while this stuff dries. <laughs> Okie doke. On to the green for the little melon boy and on to the actual like meat for or whatever this is supposed to be for the croquette bun. Um, I'm just going to mix up some colors here to kind of get a melony color, I guess. <laughs> and then add water to it and a lot of it and test it out. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna make a bigger mix of it. All right, looking good. So I'm just gonna do a flat wash all over the back of this turtle here, or at least as flat of a wash as I can muster. So I said I was gonna scroll TikTok and I did for a little bit. <laughs> Then I ended up making a TikTok, which I find to be funny. Um, I got some really cute little squids from 
another small business and I wanted to show them off before I hung them up and now they are resting nicely on my pin board. And if you want to see what I got, you can either follow me on TikTok or it'll be in a vlog uh, next week. All right, we've got flats down. Honestly, oh, you know what? Before I go any further, let's go ahead and plop in a little green dot here. Anyway, um, this, the little meat thingies are very similar in color to the bun itself. So I'm just going to add a little bit of brown and a little bit more ochre and well, that's a little too red pull it off a bit maybe with the green that we just mixed yeah now i'll just water it down and then we'll just go in like i said it's a very similar color i think it's just a little bit darker i'm hoping this masking fluid doesn't do me dirty so last time i used the masking fluid it ended up mixing with my layers and i'm not entirely sure why because i let it dry for like over 24 hours and I definitely have not let this dry for that long but it seems to be okay. It was very odd though when it mixed with the other layers because as I did more layers it, you could rub it off. It was very strange. I'm going to kind of quickly swoop this and blot. It's no big deal right now if they do mix but I'd rather try to keep it separate. And uh, I guess I'll let this stuff dry because I guess I can't do any more. <laughs> now we're going to start doing layering after I get this lettuce in here. Um, we're going to start with the little turtle and we're going to attempt to be able to layer up both the bread parts, the, the brown bread parts, and the green bread parts. And I'm looking at the picture and I'm not honestly sure if the artist sectioned off the little back sections to paint it or if they just painted over the green but I'm not honestly concerned too terribly much about it um I'm sure the brown will go over the green okay because I just decided to do a flat layer because that's what I like doing so anyway we're gonna that's gonna dry and while it dries what we're gonna do is we're going to do a darker layer of green um kind of around the edges and in some of the crevices and then we're going to just darken up the bread itself so i'm gonna grab some regular viridian and i am going to get a bit of yellow but i don't want it to be as um limey as that if that makes sense and I might even add some sienna just to kind of earthy it up. Um, and I'm going to make a big mix of that because I'm honestly not sure how much I'm going to want or need. And then I'll just test it here on the side. It's a little dark, but we'll just add some water to it. All right, so in the picture, they it seems like they didn't just go into shade. They actually, like, it almost looks like stippling. So we're going to try something like that. And we're just going to kind of use our paintbrush. And I've got a little bit too much water here. So we're just going to use our paintbrush and just kind of dab around the edges. This isn't exactly exhilarating content, but <laughs> we do what we can. Um, and some of the corners are also, not the corners, but the little divots are going to also get some shading, but I need to make sure that um, I leave some space for the brown. So I'm basically just using the reference photo to kind of figure out where I want to put some shadows and stuff. And also looking at the piece itself, like I, I'm not just going off the reference, but the reference is a nice thing to have. So since these are going to be lighter layers anyway, I'm just going to shade a lot of this and then as it gets darker we'll shade less and less. And while we let that dry I'm going to make a little mix of just, I want to add more ver vermilion to the brown this time because I found that after the other um, piece had dried from the other day 
it definitely was not the color I was looking for. So I want to make this a little orangier almost, and maybe we'll add a tiny bit of burnt sienna just to warm it up. And we'll go from there. So again, it looks like they just kind of dabbed in some color and we're just going to pick a little spot and go from there. And I'm going to add some water and maybe even dab it up a bit with my paper towel. I think going in with an orangey color was a better idea. I'm also going to use this orangey color to kind of map out some of where I want the brown to go and just being careful of the green because I don't want it to bleed too much. I don't care if it bleeds a little, but I just don't want too much bleeding. Mainly going to focus on those four corners and then I'll just add some water to kind of tone it down a little bit. And yeah, we'll just let that dry. So um, this lettuce seems to be dry enough. So while we let that dry, now we're at the point finally where we can kind of go back and forth between the two <laughs> without having to worry about um, just stopping and letting it dry. We're going to go in with more of that orangey mix, but I'm going to make more and I'm going to water it down. All right, and I'm just going to go over the top of this roll here, at least for now, and maybe make a bit of a gradient and kind of do the same here, except we're just going to go in for like shadowing and then I might blot in some water just to kind of mute it down a little bit. And as I'm sure you're used to by now, time to let it dry. Time to darken up some layers. So we're going to go in with more of the green and we're going to be a little bit more sparse this time because I, I don't want to go crazy. Some of these are already pretty dark. And we're just going to tap it in. Nothing fancy here. <laughs> and this brown actually turned out really good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Just going in with some water to kind of make more dots, <laughs> make them lighter. And while we're here, um, we're gonna go ahead and darken up this little cute happy face. And I'm using a mix of mostly vermilion and some burnt sienna, giving it a little test. And I'm just going to go right over to this little guy's face and just kind of plop it on. And same with his little feet. Just using it really as just kind of like a, a shadow. Not a shadow, but like a where it's been cooked a little. And I'm going to use some water or a dry brush even. And just kind of make some little dots to kind of blend it in to the rest of it. Gonna use that same mix to darken up the centers of these little cross uh, marks here. And I may even go in with a third layer on these because this mix is a little watery. All right, with that same mix, I'm just going to, again, darken up the top of this and actually I need to mix some more. And now I'm just taking this darker mix and adding just some basic lines to the back of this just not a ton of them and I don't want it to look like I don't even know non-organic but I'm just adding some bun lines I don't I don't know how to explain that they've got like little lines on them but that's what we're adding and I'm gonna darken up this little side right here and we're gonna let that dry I believe we're almost done with our little turtle friend. I'm going to mix up a color for their little face and I'm going to bloop it in with way too much paint. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Um, anyway, I'm also going to add a little bit of a like a cast shadow right here and add like a cast shadow here as well and just for posterity i'll probably just go ahead and add one just to the side of this <laughs> oh my god our little friend so cute and i am going to attempt to darken up what's already here in the centers 
And then just kind of lighten up the rest of it with water. Looking cute. All right, we're gonna let them dry. We're just gonna call them done. All right, so with this little bun here, the roll, whatever we're gonna call it, um, I noticed that there is a lot of, well, there's a lot of shading, which isn't surprising. And there's a lot I still need to do on it. So we're just going to make some of these little lines that I see in the reference and we'll smooth them out with some water. Honestly, there's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just kind of doing what feels right. And then if I don't like it, I'll take some paper towel and kind of dab it up a little bit. I think one of my biggest issues right now is water control because I find I get those really harsh lines and that is because I need to practice my water control. And while that is drying, we're gonna go in with a green color. I've already pre-mixed this, so apologies. It's just a little bit of Viridian, and I think I just used burnt sienna. And we're just going to make some shading in the, le the lettuce. Again, do what feels right. I'm just kind of going for it. Nothing too fancy. One of the things I think I like the most about this kit is the fact that I don't have to sketch anything out. I can just pick it up and grab my paint. I don't know. Like, I love sketching and I love doing art and stuff, but sometimes sketching a piece out and like a whole idea can just be so tedious. I don't know. Maybe I'm just lazy. That one is actually very likely. <laughs> and the last thing we really need to do is just add shading to the meat itself or whatever this is supposed to be. And we're going to start a little lighter than I normally would. We're just going to um, kind of grab something a little darker. There we go. And we're just going to just make some little dabby marks. Nothing too crazy and nothing too uh, calculated or anything. We're just trusting the process. I need to darken up this little feller's cast shadow a bit because it's looking rough. It was a little waterier than I had expected, so not very surprising. Um, and I'm actually going to take this Viridian mix that I have and mix it up here a bit. Because I don't like how that ended up. There we go. This also has a little bit of a darker, like a few darker lines in here. So I'm just going to add a couple while it's still wet just to get them to blend. And then maybe a couple into the drier spots as well. It's, it's not a lot, and I actually probably did too many. And then we'll add a bit of a shadow under here and lighten it up with some water. Actually, I don't like how that looks, so we're just going to blot it up and just go back with what we had. I liked what we had a little bit more. While we're at it, I'm going to darken up the back of this roll here. And now oh, we're just going to add a little bit more again to um, this food part. And I'm going to start deciding where I'm putting the shadows. So this part up here is going to be a lot lighter. And so we're not really going to mess with too much of that. And then we also have a second one here. So we need to make sure that I can differentiate between them. And it also looks like they used a little bit of kind of like a yellowy color. So maybe we'll go in with a light yellow and maybe dab some of that in to add some color. We're on to final layers. So uh, let's go ahead and let this dry. And then I'm pretty sure the last one will be the last layer. Before I do the final layer on this, we're going to go ahead and remove that masking tape from earlier. And I hope I get it all. I'm just gonna kind of rub around. I think I got it all. So we've got some little shinies. I probably should have put some over here, but that's okay. And we're going to gently remove the ones over here as well. The masking fluid did not do me dirty. Okay. Now it's time for that very, very last layer. 
of paint. So for part of it, we're going to be going in and just darkening up some of this lettuce shading here. Just being kind of careful not to go crazy. I'll probably just go ahead and leave it like that, yeah? And then lastly, I'm going to go in with a really dark color I mixed, and we're going to just really define the, yeah, these things. Again, I don't even know what this is made out of. I should have probably researched. It's fine. And then after that, after this layer, we're, we're done. Which feels amazing because I didn't even want to wake up and paint today. But now that seems too dark. Oh no. Here comes Katie with the too much jean. I'm just adding like one row of like a little bit lighter. I just feel like it went from zero to a hundred in the shading department. And maybe we'll add some more up here. Being careful to stay away from these highlights. I like them just how they are. You know what? I'm going to call that done. We're just going to call it done. Okay, maybe I won't keep that stark white. It's just a little too white for me. It wasn't so bad in the turtle because it's just really light, but I don't know. For this, it just seemed a little excessive. But I think we're going to call it done here. I think I'm just going to call it done. All right, so here's what we painted. Here's the reference photos. I think I did an okay job. A lot better than last time. Still some stuff to improve, but overall, I really like it. If I really wanted to, which I do, I'm going to pop in a little bit of white because I don't like how different that looks. It just looks odd. There we go. Um, and with that, we're going to call it done. So I want to thank you all so incredibly much for watching. Um, I hope this was fun and I hope you liked it and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I love you all so incredibly much. Stay safe on the seas out there and until next video, toodaloo!